with you some facts about National Science Day. Let me give you a brief introduction about National Science Day. National Science Day is celebrated on 20th February every year. It is to mark the discovery of uh, Raman's effect by the great physicist Sir C. V. Raman in 20th February 1928. For this discovery, Sir C. V. Raman was awarded the Nobel Prize in the year 1930. This celebration spreads a great message about the importance of science used in the daily life of people. So here we go. Science Day. Today I'm going to be doing an experiment for the chapter water. So I'm going to be doing it with a glass cup of water. So you see I have a little glass cup of water and I'm going to pour some salt into this and let's see if it dissolves or not. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! Look at that, so you can see it's all dissolved in. Look at that. Look, so you see it's all water here and it's all the all the salt is down here. So we mix it. And it makes salt water. Now we're gonna dissolve this. So we're gonna dissolve this and let's see if it dissolves or not. Look at that. Mix it. So it does not dissolve. It just stays and it does not dissolve. So that is the experiment. You can see. So it does not dissolve. So that is my experiment. Happy National Day to you. Bye bye. Hello everyone. I am Ayana from grade 3. So, today we are going to learn about change of state of matter. So, here we have ice cubes, water and water vapor. So, when solid changes into liquid on heating, this process is called as melting. When liquid changes into gas on heating, this pro uh, process is called as evaporation. When gas changes into liquid on cooling, this process is called as condensation. When liquid changes into solid on cooling, this process is called as freezing. So overall, this is called as change of state of matter. That's all. Thank you. Hi, I am Vashita P from grade 3D. Carmel Academy, I am going to show you my mathematics project which is Maxwell. It has numbers, even numbers, odd numbers, place value, place value, greater than, lesser than, equal to, ascending order, Descending order. Time. Different kinds of line. Currency. Measurement of weight. Measurement of length. Measurement of capacity. Arithmetic signs. Which is addition, subtraction, multiplication, in division, we have different kinds of shapes. Cone, oval, rhombus, pentagon, square, rectangle, cylinder, octag octagon, triangle, circle, hexagon. We have also have a calendar as a banner. 
and two tables to two to thirty. Thank you. For this project, we will need cardboard, syringes, ice cream stick, tube, toothpicks, rubber bands, ties, and gum. When I pull the syringe, the water from that syringe comes to this syringe. Along with that, the hand of the uh, hand of the JCB pulls up. Hello guys. Today we are going to do lava lamp experiment. So first we need a transparent bottle and secondly we need oil. And then we need water. We need even a paracetamol. And then we need a food color. So first, we will add the oil. And then we need water. After that, we need to add food coloring. After adding food coloring, we need to put paracetamol. So this was the final result of my lava lamp. Do you notice some bubbles? So it kind of glows in the dark.
Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Samiksha from Grade Four B Carmel Academy. Now I am going to show you all how to do a math multiplication table model. Let us see how to do that. Take a sixteen centimeter circular card paper and divide it into twelve equal parts. Next, put a hole in the middle. Yes, now this card is ready. Next, make a twelve centimeter circular card paper like this, and put a hole in the middle. Now, cut two rectangle shaped holes here. Yes, done. Next, we have to fix these two cards with cotton bud or any other material. I have taken a cotton bud and inserted. It should rotate like this. Now let me write the eighth table for twelve multiples. Eight into one is equal to eight. Like this, we should write it for the remaining sections. Take a sketch pen and write it. Eight. Into one is equal to eight. Like this, we have to write it for the remaining sections. I have written the eighth multiplication table. Let's check how the multiplication table model works. Eight ones are eight. Eight twos are sixteen. This is how we have to rotate and find the multiplication table. This is my math multiplication table model. Hope you all liked it. Thank you. What? Hello, teachers and staff. Today I am going to tell about the volcano. So, what is a volcano? A volcano is a mountain that opens downwards to a pool of molten rock below the surface of the earth. How volcanoes are formed? Volcanoes are formed when the magma from within the earth's upper metal works its way to the surface. At the surface, it erupts to form lava flows and ash deposits. Over time, as the volcano continues to erupt, it will get bigger and bigger. There are three stages of volcanoes. First, the active volcano. It is one which has recently, and there is a possibility that it may erupt soon. The second volcano is the dormant volcano, Vol one which has not erupted in a long time. But there is a possibility that it can erupt in the future. The the third type of volcano is an extinct volcano. An extinct volcano is one which has erupted thousands of years ago, and there is no possibility that of uh, possibility of eruption. I conclude. Volcanoes are the geological architects. They have created more than eighty percent of our planet's surface. Laying the foundation has allowed life to survive. Thank you. Hi all, I am Janvi from Grade Three. I am going to show you how liquid behaves with different densities. So as you can see here, we have three liquids. We have used three liquids here: oil. Colored water and syrup. First, we have poured here the oil. Then we have poured the colored water, and then we have poured the syrup. We can see clearly that they have different densities, and they form clear layer. 
A liquid will be more denser, means more heavier and more compact. And a more compact liquid will sink compared to a liquid that is less dense. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Viji Ali from class 4B. I am going to show you how to find the HCF of three numbers using long division method. HCF is called highest common factor. It is also called as GCD, greatest common divisor. Let me show you the example. The example is HCF of 18, 30 and 60. First take any two numbers 18 and 30 and find the HCF. Divide the greatest number by the smallest number till you get the remainder as 0. is the divisor and 30 is the dividend. Eighteen once are eighteen. It becomes twelve. The remainder is twelve. The remainder becomes the new divisor and the old divisor becomes the new dividend. Twelve once are twelve. It becomes 6. The remainder becomes the new divisor and the old divisor becomes the new dividend. Six twos are 12. 12 minus 12 equal to 0. Divide the greatest number by the smallest number till you get the remainder as 0. So the HCF of 18 and 30 is 6. Now we should find the HCF of 6 and 60. Hmm. 6 is the divisor, 60 is the dividend. Six tens are 60. 60 minus 60 equal to 0. Again, divide the greatest number by the smallest number till you get the, remi the remainder as 0. So, the HCF of 6 and 60 is 6. Now, the HCF of 18, 30 and 16 is 6. Thank you. Hello everybody. My name is Samskriti. I am from Standard 3. Today, I am going to demonstrate and experiment on liquid dispenser for this we will need a bottle with a hole and a straw inserted in it a container and a colorful inflated balloon with an attached clip and some colored water to make the colored water i have added water paint to water now let's start First, we will put the balloon at the mouth of the bottle and slowly remove the clip. We would see that the colored water is flowing through the straw and getting collected into the container. The air pressure created by the balloon makes the colored water flow through the straw and fill into the container. Hope you liked my experiment. Thank you.